Hi again, welcome to my series of tutorials on multi-camera editing. In the first two tutorials we have already imported the footage into the project. We have done some rough cut. We arranged the footage in the different tracks based on the order of priority. We did some renaming of the tracks and we also did a V-Sync between the different camera tracks. And now we are ready to go into color balancing and brightness matching. This is very important because, as I mentioned before, we did not have time to do any color balance up front, so the cameras will probably have a very different color tone and also the brightness and contrast needs to be matched. Let's start with camera one track. This is the Sony VG900 camcorder producing quite a reddish color tone. We go to the effect palette Select Video Filter Adjust and drag the color balance effect to the video. Then we set the slider for red, green and blue so that the video gets a more natural look and feel. Once done we can click on the save icon to save our settings as My Effect. We can give it a name like Color Balance Camera 1. Now we select the effect filter Brightness and Contrast from the adjustment effects and set matching values. Clicking on the Save icon will save the settings as My Effect with the name Brightness and Contrast Camera 1. Since the material for Camera 1 consists of two clips, we insert the two filters from My Effects into the rear clip as well. If we now cut out parts of this track, when doing the track editing, all the given adjustments for the footage will remain untouched. Now let's use the cutter tool and cut camera 1 somewhere at the beginning. Then we use the select tool and drag the out point a bit to the left. With the cursor over the blank area of camera 1 track, camera 2 will be visible. Now we can use the color and lighting adjustment just like before for camera 2. Here we need to modify the preset sliders to match the color of camera 1. We use the timeline cursor and the preview to check a balanced color between camera 1 and 2. We need to repeat these steps for matching color and lighting for the GoPro camera 3 and 4, which tended to go more into a bluish color tone. This is how the color matching looks now. Well, that seems alright. The next step is intercutting the shots between the different tracks. But before we move on, let's clean up the tracks of our project again. We can just delete the left hand clips and drag the starting point per clip left again. As mentioned before, all the effect corrections will remain active. Let's save the project for now. Ok, now we are ready with this part of the tutorial and the next step will show you how you can make use of an audio master track how you can intercut between the different camera sources and also how you can add global effects and titles to your project. Stay tuned, thanks for watching and make sure to also check the next part. See you!